Hello, dear friend. Here is today's word. Today's scripture reading is from Luke chapter 15, verses 11 to 32. Jesus told them this story. A man had two sons. The younger son told his father, I want my share of your estate now before you die. So his father agreed to divide his wealth between his sons. A few days later, this younger son packed all his belongings and moved to a distant land, and there he wasted all his money in wild living. About the time his money ran out, a great famine swept over the land, and he began to starve. He persuaded a local farmer to hire him, and the man sent him into his fields to feed the pigs. The young man became so hungry that even the pods he was feeding the pigs looked good to him. But no one gave him anything. When he finally came to his senses, he said to himself, At home, even the hired servants have food enough to spare, and here I am dying of hunger. I will go home to my father and say, Father, I have sinned against both heaven and you, and I am no longer worthy of being called your son. Please take me on as a hired servant. So he returned home to his father. And while he was still a long way off, his father saw him coming. Filled with love and compassion, he ran to his son, embracing him and kissed him. His son said to him, Father, I have sinned against both heaven and you, and I am no longer worthy of being called your son. But his father said to, to the servants, Quick, bring the finest robe in the house and put it on him. Get a ring for his finger and sandals for his feet, and kill the calf we have been fattening. We must celebrate with a feast. For this son of mine was dead and has now returned to life. He was lost, but now he is found. So the party began. Meanwhile, the older son was in the field working. When he returned home, he heard music and dancing in the house. And he asked one of the servants what was going on. Your brother is back, he was told. And your father has killed the fattened calf. We are celebrating because of his safe return. The older brother was angry and wouldn't go in. His father came out and begged him, but he replied, All these years I've slaved for you and never once refused to do a single thing you told me to. And in all that time you never gave me even one young goat for a feast with my friends. Yet when this son of yours comes back after squandering your money on prostitutes, you celebrate by killing the fattened calf. His father said to him, Look, dear son, you have always stayed by me and everything I have is yours. We had to celebrate this happy day. For your brother was dead and has come back to life. He was lost, but now he is found. God bless the reading of his word. Lost and found. Did you notice what's going on in this parable Jesus is telling us? Here we have a family relationship. We have a father and we have two sons, a younger one and an older one. And uh, as we learn, the, the um, younger son uh, goes out and lives a, a wild, frivolous life, and uh, at some point he has a change of heart, returns home, and his father welcomes him. What we learn here is that um, our Heavenly Father, our Lord Jesus, always welcomes a repentant heart in a person. And as we see, there's no need for any further explanation. Why? Because God sees the repentant heart in the sinner who comes to him. 
as we see with the older son, the father loves the righteous too, but he has a hard time with self-righteousness and pride. And so we see that in his discussion with the older son, asking, begging him to come and join the party. And um, that's something we just want to note. What, we, what you need to know, what's the most important part here in all of this is that the father is always joyful and excited when a sinner repents and turns their life over to Jesus. So we may wonder, who is lost in this parable? Do you feel like you are lost? That need not be so. You can be free of sin, repent, and God will accept anyone who truly repents. God's arms are open wide. What will you do today? And Lord Jesus, we just want to thank you for this blessed day. We want to thank you for this wonderful reading um, about being lost and found. And anybody who comes to you with a repentant heart, um, you will accept, not only accept, you actually run to the repentant sinner and rejoice. Because that's who you are. That's your nature. And that's... Uh, who you are as a personal God, loving every repentant sinner, uh, as you see all our hearts. We pray that everybody comes to you and considers this word here and uh, repents of their sin and turns to you. Uh, and uh, need not fear, because uh, you will accept anybody who will turn to you freely. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. And always remember, the best Bible is an open Bible. Please join again soon.